Oh my gosh, y'all. Seriously? This is a lot like having a conversation with me because the phone's always, it's always in my hand. I'm always tracking on Lose It or I'm checking emails if you send me one. And I totally never thought we'd get this personal. Sitting in a towel. But you know what? Sometimes in life, you just like want to take a shower and then extend that moment of freedom. And when you have kids, <laughs> you don't really get to. So you have to extend that moment with a towel. And sitting in my living room and I was going through some pictures or something and uh, like I like many of you do not do did not do pictures like I still I'm a little like ooh pictures um and I'm it, it's kind of funny because before it was like I would see a picture and be like oh, I forgot that that's what I am because I don't feel like that on the inside but now it's like I see a picture and I'm like oh what a pleasant surprise <laughs> I'm not saying it's perfect, but hey, at least it's not what it was. So, I mean, seriously. Okay, so I found a picture, which is kind of wild. It's from the side, so you can really see me. And I'm wearing a size 24 jeans, and they're my skinny jeans. Dude, scouts on her. They're my skinny jeans. And when you see what they did to me, oh, here. See what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh. Like, those are your skinny jeans, really? Because even my skinny jeans now don't cut me up like that. They don't, <laughs> they don't give me super guts. That's so wild. Like, what was I thinking? No. It's not okay. And I still have that t-shirt that I have on. Oh, now it's like a big baggy t-shirt. And it's so awesome, like, to hang out in it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so I had to share that with you. And while we're talking about it, and since we're here, um, I was talking to um, Candace, and she asked me what my thought um, was, and and I have her permission to mention her, so it's okay. Um, about like me as a fatty, which is what I always called myself, or me as a thin person. And the thing is. But I don't actually know if I qualify as thin. I, I, I don't feel like I do. I don't actually know if I qualify as thin yet. I know I'm average now. The average woman in 2009 was 162.9 pounds and a size 14. So I'm 167.2 as of last week. And... I'm a size 14, so average, that's so wild. Um, so I guess I would have to be thinner than average to be thin, I don't know. But as a thin me versus a fatty me, um, I will say that like I had gotten pretty good at like faking confidence till it was real. Um, and unless I saw a picture of me, I could completely forget what I looked like. I could even forget when I looked at my clothes that were huge. Um, and I can say that I had gotten to a place through many experiences of accepting myself more, which might have made this whole trip easier now. I mean, 30, you think about things differently, I know. Um, and, and just things are generally different. So maybe it was just a reprioritizing -pri of my life, I don't know. I know getting sick really had a lot to do with it, but I think the biggest thing was that when I would get upset or sad or, like, stressed out or nervous, I would eat. It would trigger my addiction, and then I'd feel worse, and it would kind of be a cycle that was hard to get out of, and slowly I would slip out of it and kind of start just, I mean, still binge eating, but not the same, um, but now... And I think it's got to do with size, I'm not going to lie, I like being smaller, but it's also the exercise, eating healthy, and being in a different mindset, and not being an active addict, that when I get stressed, upset, sad, or nervous, it's able to pass because I don't give in to the addiction, so there's no self-hatred afterwards, there's no lasting disgust with me. Am I happier? Yes. It's 
because I'm saying sure in some way, but also it's, it's the whole health wise. Number two, do I think all health, like thin people are healthy? No, I know too many who aren't. Um, and I know, and do I think they're all happy? No, I know too many who aren't. Uh, just like I know big girls who I think would be thin if they if they didn't have to work for it, but who are perfectly happy being big, like truly, not even like don't take a picture of me. More like I'm so hot it's sick. So I mean, it can happen. You can find that confidence. So, but I just had to share that picture and answer that question. And if you've already lost your weight, I would love to hear from you via response video or comment, like on whether or not. It's changed you if you think it was the weight or if you think it's what it is that's made your life different and how it's made your life different. And if you're trying to lose the weight, I would love to hear what you think is going to happen when you lose the weight or what you've realized will or will not happen for you. So, yay. Talk to you guys later. Hoping to have a loss tomorrow, at least half a pound. But tomorrow's probably going to be my bum day because usually I have good, good, good bum but I had good 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 so maybe the bum has moved I don't know we'll see all right guys I guess I'll go get dressed